fresh out of my chiropractic appointment. Felt good. I was way off. I'm so glad I did pause squats yesterday. Uh, I could definitely feel my hips were, were off. Uh, I was off by almost three-fourths of an inch, which is out of the ordinary for me, especially ever since I've been going for a while. Uh, I've been holding my adjustments really well, but I, I've gotten so in tune with my body as I, I know I know when I'm off. So that was good. So what I'm gonna do is I was talking to uh, Dr. Rice and we're gonna plan a video where we where we really outline exactly what he's looking at and how he specializes it to me and how chiropractic is. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach, just like training and nutrition. So be on the lookout for that. That'll be fun. That'll be an in-depth video kind of outlining the whole, the whole scope of what we're doing in there. So, all right, now we're heading home. We did morning sessions uh, already done. It's midday right now, we're heading home, gonna eat some food, get ready to go train, and then we got afternoon sessions. Well, so let's keep it going. Look at this weather though. All right, it's lunchtime, and so what I'm gonna make today is in my typical frittata, but what I'm gonna do is make a cheesy uh, hash brown version of it. So what I'm doing right now is I sliced up some red, uh, some red potatoes, and then I seasoned them with some black pepper, garlic powder and sea salt. And so I'm just gonna fry them just a little bit in the pan and I'm gonna add them on top of the already cooked frittata and we're gonna broil the top and we'll shop. I'll show you the end product. Now it's all together and ready to go in the oven on broil. Oh man, look. Oh my gosh. The golden brown crispiness. Oh my goodness gracious, just look at those crispy, cheesy hash browns on top of that egg frittata. And of course, you got that bad boy. Oh yeah, there's going to be some goodies in there. I mean, as you can see, it's all over the spatula. Oh, it's stripping on the counter. And of course, it's all about that slice. Man, look at those cheesy hash browns on there. Those green peppers, broccoli, that egg dough. And of course, you gotta add that sriracha as the finishing touch. Oh man, I'm about to enjoy this. All right, so here we have some of that famous Protein pumpkin butter. Just look at that. Get off. So here we have some of that white chocolate cheesecake snack pack protein pudding. Oh man, what's up? Look at this mason jar full of beautiful gains. It's for all my white girls out there. It's for you. And just look how it doesn't even fall. Just look at all those trident layers. It's beautiful. It's like, literally like peanut butter. I mean, if you don't get that book of recipes. The beautiful sound of eggs frying up. And guess what these are gonna go on top of? Oh, and what is that? Is that a cheesy marinara Alfredo sauce? Oh boy. All right, I want you to take a second and guess what I'm having for dinner tonight. Yes, my hand is over the lens. Take a second. Wait for it. I think you know the answer. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's rice cakes topped with goodies again. And tonight we have that cheesy Alfredo cayenne pepper marinara sauce. Well, cheese sauce, whatever the hell you want to call it. And then we have three topped with some fried runny eggs. And then they're topped with 
some fresh sliced tomato and some pan fried squash and three with buffalo sauce and three with sriracha and of course the big bowl of gains do i have any of that sauce on my face probably but seriously this recipe it never gets old if it's not broke why fix it it's so good i look forward to it every day try it do it for me do it the rice cakes. My boy Ryan, I have one apparel. Do it for the rice cakes. So what we have tonight for dessert is this double-sided rice cake with one side that cherry pie filling, the other side that apple pie filling. No sugar added is a game changer. And here is that end product. Oh man, doesn't take much. Took me two minutes to put this together and it is going to be tasty. Nice little macro friendly way to end the night. These two are a game changer if you're looking for something macro friendly that you can top things with. And I don't know, not many stores have them. I've only been able to find them at my Walmart. And they only come in cherry pie and apple pie. If they made like blueberry, strawberry, it would be unreal but i haven't been able to find it but the macros on these for 85 grams 85 grams that's a lot that's th this thing has one and a half servings so like it's 0.75 servings of that 0.75 servings of that one serving of the cherry is zero grams of fat eight grams of carbs zero protein eight grams of carbs and the apple pie one same serving size is only seven grams of carbs so look at them, you're, you're gonna find them by the pumpkin or where your sugar-free uh, pudding mix is in that same aisle. All that money for that autofocus. And you don't wanna focus. So I'm gonna get a bite right there. Can't wait smack for us. People always talk smack. Oh, Zach, you lick your fingers too much. I value the macros. I can't waste them. Ooh, nice catch. Alrighty, it's Wednesday morning. Middle of the week. Wednesday, we just gotta keep it going. Gotta keep it going and keep living the dream. Having a blast and killing it. So, kill it today. All right, so it's currently about 10 a.m. In between sessions, waiting on my new, my uh, next client to walk in. But I want to give you guys an idea. Uh, I do, especially when I'm cutting, I do fast until my first meal around 11:30. And so at about 10 a.m. right now, I'm gonna show you guys what I look like with about three or four 20 ounce glasses of water in me, uh, a cup and a half of coffee, pretty much fasted. But what I look like when I'm not bloated, like during my workouts, I'm pretty, pretty bloated because I have a good amount of food in me right then. And uh, I hadn't had much time to digest it. So right now, this is what I look like. Pretty much fasted. So I'm not bloated. I got a good amount of water in me, but this is what that looks like. So cover my intermittent, intermittent fasting, why I do that, will I continue to do it when I'm in a surplus, my calories are higher, etc. in a future video. So let me know in the comments if you guys are really interested in that. All right, today we have another frittata, but here's the wild card. Some of that cheesy Bernie Mac. It's gonna go all over this bed, boy or girl. Oh, oh man. Just feast your eyes on this. Oh, this is about to be real good. Just look at that. That golden brown crunchiness. Mm, and this. Oh, yeah, there's some goodies in there. Oh yeah, we have liftoff. 
And here we have that slice. Look at that egg yolk. Perfectly formed with that golden mac and cheese on there. And then we have the rest of it. I get to eat all this. And in case you were wondering, that frittata recipe and the low fat mac and cheese that was on top, both of those recipes can be found in the FDL book of recipes. And if you've watched this point, I'm rewarding anybody who's watched my YouTube videos. You can use the discount code YouTube for $10 off your copy, $10. So use the discount code YouTube, link is in my bio, and you'll save $10 on that book. All right, so we have a mystery again. I forgot which one was which. But what we do know is that we have two protein dessert crunch wraps. But the question is, which one is filled with the peanut butter cup Oreo, and which one is filled with the Butterfinger? And that moment of truth, which one is this going to be? It's gonna be my bite. Look at how I layered that and how you roll it, how I teach you in the book of recipes is you put the toppings on the bottom then you wrap it up. Oh man, look at that. And after taste test number one, we already know what this one's gonna be. Oh my gosh, look at that peanut butter and then the Oreo on top, oh boy. And a nice crunch wrap. Just can't beat it. And like I said earlier, use the discount code YouTube, go to the FDL Book of Recipes link in my bio, and for you special people that watched all the way to here, or watch my YouTube videos, $10 off your copy. And of course, you wouldn't put together equal infinite gains. Just look at that. About to kill this upper pull workout. Fueled by crunch wraps. All right, and I normally wouldn't eat it this way, but you know, I'm doing it for the views. And here we go. Don't try this at home. Actually do, but eat it with a fork or one individually. All right, so I wanted to show off a new variation of my barbell seal rows that I've been doing. Uh, I'm using my Rogue Swiss bar, so it's that multi-grip bar. So if you can see that right down there. And so you're able to do more of a, a neutral grip seal, seal row. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. The contraction I'm getting in my back is unreal right now. So I started the workout with 80 uh, pull-ups, body weight, sets of 10, eight sets of 10, and now I just moved on to uh, seal rows. I'm doing five total sets, three sets of 10, one set of 15, and one set of 20, and then I'm gonna move on to a bunch of accessory movements. So no workout clips besides that today, but gotta hit it hard. Next session starts here in a little bit, so I gotta, I gotta hustle because I don't feel like doing them after my sessions today. So what we're doing today for lunch is we're going to take, I already made up two of these spaghetti squashes. So my book of recipes, I outline how to do this. Uh, it's very simple. You microwave them for four minutes. Well, after you poked a bunch of hole, holes in the outside of it, to soften it up and you slice it in half, throw it in the oven on 400 and then um, bake for until it's kind of soft on the top. And so that I got to this point right now. So now I have my sauteed veggies tomatoes, uh, cayenne pepper, al pepper jack alfredo sauce, and some fat free cheese. So what I'm gonna do is make some stuffed spaghetti squash. Stuffed sp spaghetti squash. I mean, it's that simple, so. Oh. Oh man. Dang, those look legit. 
Dang, look at that Alfredo. Got the broccoli, green peppers underneath there. The tomatoes. That fat free sharp cheddar on top. Oh, fogging up my screen. It's a low day, but that doesn't mean you can't eat big. So you might be wondering how I'm gonna eat these. What I'm gonna do is I slice them in half. This is what the inside of one looks like. And I'm just gonna fork out a bite. So as you can see, a beautiful pasta texture. The broccoli, green peppers, got a little bit of that Alfredo, got tomato on there. Let's see if it tastes like pasta. The key to cooking this is making sure you don't overcook the spaghetti squash because it won't come out it won't come out pasta like if you do that so you see how it's super stringy like this and it holds its form really well so if you overcook it what's gonna happen is you don't get that pasta you don't get that pasta texture all right I'm gonna be honest those look pretty but they were hard as hell to eat like that, so nonetheless, a mountain of food. Scraped them all out, scraped out all the goodies, and then put them on the plate like this. So, this is what we're working with. This big old thing right here. I get to eat all this. And the macros, are you kidding me? So, nonetheless, even though I did that, it's still the same meal. So, spaghetti squash, game changer. And here we have three of my mini cheesecake cups, protein cups. We got uh, Fruity Pebble, Birthday Cake Sprinkle, and Chocolate Chip. I've had these out for like 15 minutes trying to take pictures, so they're kind of melting a little bit. But nonetheless, they're about to go on top of something so good. Here we have a big bowl of my protein ice cream. Tell me that doesn't look like ice cream. Like, like seriously. Like look at that. <laughs> and then you chop them up and add them to your jello bowl along with that protein ice cream. Oh yeah. And then you add that chocolate and strawberry Walden Farm syrup on top. Cause you gotta make those macro friendly gains on a low day. And of course, that puff camet adds that final touch. Big bowl of gains. Macro friendly gains. All right. In between sessions, I just finished a whole pack of these Jack Link's original beef jerky. I haven't had beef jerky, it's probably been three years. I just got some Chef's Cuts sent to me, uh, awesome brand of organic beef jerky. And so I go to the gas station and I buy uh, freaking Jack Link's for like $5 a pack. But anyways, it's bittersweet. If you're dieting and you want something to chew on, this, it takes a long time to go through three ounces of that and it has 36 grams of protein, only one gram of fat, and five grams of carbs. So, not bad at all. But, the downside is because it's dehydrated meat, it's very unfilling. So you'll eat it and it won't really feel much of a difference. So, that's what I noticed. It was really good, it took a while to eat. It, it qualified as a, a cool dieting food because you had to chew a lot, but it did not pass the test for keeping you full. So I'll be using the chef's cut a lot when I'm traveling. I'll be traveling a lot very soon, so I'm gonna pack that in my bag and use that as a cool tool to, to have just in case. But I just wanna share that with you guys. Uh, I guess it helps. It helps, it's a give or take type of thing. If you're not that hungry, but you want something to chew on, but if you need something that's gonna keep you full, I wouldn't really. I wouldn't really use it. So, about to start our last session of the day. Then I'm gonna go get my hair cut. Clean up this mess. 
for my sister's wedding on Saturday. So this is all going, and this is gonna get all nice and cleaned up. Cause we got the Olympia the following week as well. Gotta look, gotta look presentable, you know. First expo I've ever been to. So I'm excited. Right, walking in to get my hair cut. This is the before. All right. Men got one. Halfway done. Clear, Side so, is um, done. We did it a zero to a four fade. Right now to take off the top. What do you guys think of this look? I've been cotton in my ears for a while. So, so 